I've got a banana here for breakfast, but I got through to a callback round. Guys, I'm trying not to be emotional, but I am emotional. Terrible weather, like it's actually so bad. Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm in the car with mum and she's dropping me off to the airport because I'm going to Melbourne for an audition which I'll talk about later in the vlog but I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an intro. Um, yeah, we're, it's 11.40 now so we're getting to the airport a little bit early. My flight's at 1.30 and I'm going to Melbourne so I'm really excited to take you guys along with me. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's go. So I have finally made it to the hotel. That was like such a struggle. I was walking around with my suitcases, like three bags and freaking out, but everyone was so helpful. So we managed to get here. I'll give you guys a little bit of a room tour. So I've put my suitcase there and I'm about to hang everything up there, but this is the room. It's actually really cute and it wasn't very expensive either. I've got the um, TV bed. I've put some stuff here already getting organized and then this is a mirror up here. The view is kind of just of offices but it's still, you know, it's still nice I guess. Gets a bit of light in but it's really pretty. I'm, yeah, pretty happy with it for what I paid and everything and the bathroom is really nice as well. Everything's super clean. So tonight I'm pretty much just going to get everything organized. I'm going to go buy some food for the week and then I'll come back, have some dinner, have a shower and pretty much go to bed because tomorrow is the audition. I'm super excited, super nervous. I'm auditioning for the Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. I got through to a callback round, which is why I flew out here because I was like, oh my God, how exciting. Um, so it's for Saturday Night Fever, the musical. So they sent me three songs to learn and a script. So I was like, yes, let's do this. So I'm learning the dialogue for Annette who's one of the um, one of the main three characters and then two of her songs and then a separate song from the other musical so I'm really excited and yeah I've just been practicing the last three days because I only got the email like three days ago but I already had this trip booked just in case because I was like when I applied I wanted to get the flights done cheap early out the way and then if it wasn't like successful I probably would have still come to Melbourne honestly because I booked time off work and everything but yes I'm gonna go get organized now I will talk to you guys more about the audition because it's, yeah, it's very exciting so I'll keep you updated along the way we'll see how we go um, I'm just gonna go do my best really like I've um, not done any singing or dancing for three years so this is just like insane to me right now so I'm really excited and I'm just full of like passion and energy like I'm I've got nothing to lose so I'm really excited and I can't wait to take you guys along with me but let's go to Woolworths now probably won't take you guys along tonight I'll let you know what I get from the shops but I won't take this camera with me because it's a little bit embarrassing here in Melbourne it's very very busy so guys I just got done from my food shop so first up I bought some sushi for tonight for dinner I got some of these yogurts because they're so cheap they're literally like a dollar fifty and I got four of those got some water um, bananas, mandarins, apples, some strawberries, and then I got these little cheese and crackers. These crackers are like literally my favorite things ever. I got some butter, Vegemite, and then some bread to make sandwiches throughout the week. But that's pretty much it. Good morning, my love. So it is day two of my Melbourne trip, and it is audition day. I am so excited. I'm so nervous, but I'm way more excited than I am nervous. Um, I've done my makeup. I just did like a really light, kind of like natural look. I've got my hair up in my dressing gown again, and then. And then I've got my dress sitting here ready to go, my shoes, and then my bag and like food and stuff ready to go as well. But I'm so excited um, and I'm really happy that I'm taking you guys along for this experience. I'm not going to vlog today just because I really need to focus, but I'm going to update you as soon as I'm back. Um, let you know how everything went, debrief, and we can chat about everything then. So I'm all dressed and ready to go. I've got a banana here for breakfast, but I'm about to order the Uber. So I will update you guys as soon as I am back. Hello guys, so, <laughs> oh, hello guys, so I am back at the hotel now, I had my audition, it's about 2 o'clock, um, and yeah, look, I didn't do very well, I sang pretty poorly, but I'm taking this as a learning lesson, it was like a good experience, and I'm so grateful to have gotten through as a callback anyway, um, I kind of just think I let the nerves get the better of me, and I'm like, 
not gonna make any excuses because it was purely like my singing that let me down today um and like sliding is so bad um i haven't sung in an audition for over three years and i haven't danced or anything so i can't be too hard on myself i'm just like proud of myself for getting the courage to even go for it that was a good learning lesson i think i really need like need to learn how to control my nerves because i'm fine like when i'm on a stage but as soon as i get up in like a panel in front of a panel of judges or like in a room like a uh, it was a studio so yeah it was like a dance studio and sometimes i just feel like so much more nervous in front of people like that i don't know why i'm gonna probably chill out now i've just changed my flights because i was like there's no real point staying here till sunday so i've changed it so i leave in two days which will be nice um just because like the hotel here i was only supposed to stay here till wednesday anyway and then i was going to stay with my cousin but um yeah now that that's done i think it's good to go home probably spend some time with my family and just like enjoy the time i have off of work but i'm still gonna vlog the rest of this trip because i'm gonna try to do some fun stuff tomorrow and for the rest of today i might go get some starbucks again and go somewhere for dinner tonight or just have vegemite sandwiches because i've literally wait i'm gonna flip my camera i've bought bread and i'm sitting here with the vegemite butter i've eaten mandarins like we're just having a little bit of a feed right now which is fine um but yeah thank you guys um for all the support along the way i'm just gonna chill here now for a bit and i will check back in with you guys in a bit so guys i've pulled myself together we're gonna go into the city now and do maybe a little bit of shopping i'm gonna get a starbucks and probably just walk around so i'll do a bit of vlogging for you i brought my camera out I'm trying not to be emotional but I am emotional and I just went to get back on the tram to come back to the hotel and I forgot to bring my Mikey card so when I got off there was like all the officers there and they were like oh we have to write you up for a ticket and I was like I'm so sorry like I forgot it it's just been like one of those days because like I just put like I literally just bought this bag and I was like I'll just bring this bag so I didn't put my purse in there so I didn't have a Mikey and I thought that this was the free tram zone anyway apparently it's not <laughs> look at my eyes and um they were so mean well, I mean I guess they have to do that it's their job but they just wrote me up for a ticket and I'm like Phew. Good morning guys, so it is day two in Melbourne and it's actually my last day here because my flight is tomorrow, I changed it, I'm not sure if I told you that, but my flight's at six in the morning tomorrow and um, I got an email saying that you have to be there two hours early because of like all the delays and stuff, so pretty much I'm going to have to leave my hotel room at three in the morning tomorrow, so it's not going to be a late night tonight, but I thought I'd go do some exploring, so I'll show you guys my outfit. This is what I am wearing, nothing special at all, um, the whole outfit's pretty much cotton on, my shoes are Puma and then this is P Peter and Jane this bag it's so cute it's actually like a really nice size as well for everything that I need but the weather's kind of crap again today so not really doing a whole lot just gonna go do some exploring and maybe get some food I might get dinner tonight but not lunch because I've just eaten I just had some yogurt and stuff because I still have all this food um, that I bought the other day which needs to be eaten I guess but I'm probably not gonna eat all that fruit so I'll bring some for the plane tomorrow but that's the little update Guys, the weather is literally so bad. Like, it's disgusting. So I'm trying to walk around. I don't even know where I'm going, but I don't know what we're gonna do today. I'm currently on the hunt for a Glassons because we only have one in Marion in Adelaide. So I don't really go there very often. So I'm gonna try to find that, but it's terrible weather. Like, it's actually so bad. These jeans are so nice. All their shorts and jeans are always so good, but I reckon I'm gonna get them in this color. But they're called the Super High Rise 90 Straight Leg. So stunning. So I'm back at the hotel and I'm going to give you guys a haul because my sister messaged me and she was like, oh my god, do they still have Easter eggs there? And they do. So I bought four of these. 
four times 18 of these hollow eggs because they're like our favorite ever. Um, so I got two for Jazz and then I got one for my uncle and one for me because we all love them so much. So that's what I got from Big W. I also got this for Jazz as well because she's been in Hamilton Island and we haven't been able to properly celebrate. Also, if you're wondering, the 75 hard challenge is a no-go. I'm not doing that anymore. Um, but I also got those jeans from Glassens. Um, they're so nice. They're really comfy as well. And I really like the fit and like the bottom as well. But that's everything that I got.